All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son. In the ancient Hebrew tongue, I also want to give double honors to the head apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. And much respect to the brothers out there laboring in this work, and also to the believers, to you, I say, Shalom. And again, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shah. All right. Zephaniah 2 on 1, we're going to be tackling what this is actually talking about, in which the scripture can be a stumbling block into the mass majority of Israelites. And we're going to show you why, all right? Because when you read Zephaniah 2 on 1, it says, Gather yourselves together, yeah, gather together, O nation not desired, all right? And so the Lord is telling you to gather yourselves together, O nation which is not desired, which are who? The Israelites, so called Negro, Latino. And Native Americans scattered across the four corners of the earth. We understand that. All right, but for one, or for Israelites who don't have the full understanding of how the Lord is actually gathering his people, will be drawn back by this scripture. Because the Lord is not calling all of Israel to come together in the name of Israel. All right, he requires to be made on one accord with him. All right, with the same mind and the same judgments. You see? And so when you go to, you know, the book of uh, Amos, third chapter, the third verse, it says, can two walk together as if they be agreed? Can two walk together as if they be agreed? Now you have many Israelite camps out here with different doctrines according to the Holy Scriptures, when in reality, the Scriptures only deal with one doctrine. So who has a true doctrine? So understanding that and knowing that the Most High is not a not the author of confusion, as the scriptures say, can two walk together? Can you walk together with the Most High and say you be agreed on His same accord? You can't. All right. So you you have to be grafted in according to the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. Matter of fact, when you go to um, John the tenth chapter and thirty verse. It says, I and my father are one. Now, this is Yahweh Shai saying that he and his father are one. All right, and we're going to come back to the scripture. But what he was speaking of is the fact that they're on the same accord. They have the same spirit. All right, they're not the same people, of course, but they have the same spirit, the same agenda. All right, and so you have to follow that same pattern. You got to be, you have to come into the true knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father through a son, man. All right, so that requires you to put off that old man. And that old understanding that you had and put on a new man who just renewed the knowledge. So Baruch 4 and 28 says, For as it were your mind to go astray, it was your mind to go astray from the heavenly father and his ways. Alright? So being returned, now that you know that you're an Israelite, seek him ten times more. And this is how you're gonna find the truth, right? By seeking through the scriptures. You know, as our Lord Yahusha said, uh, you know, uh, search the scriptures for and them you think you have eternal life. And they are they who testify of me. He's talking about the prophets of old who spoke about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh All right. And uh, he comes in the volume of the book. That's Psalms 40 and 7. All right. He says, for lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So you have to search the scriptures to find out who has the truth. So it's up to you to seek him 10 times more and find out who has the truth. Baruch 4 and 36. It says, O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High, Yahweh by Shem It says, Lo, thy sons come from that whom thou sentest away. They come gathered, all right? This is how you're going to be gathered. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. So it's according to this word that you're going to be gathered. It's not. And it's not due to the fact that you understand that you are an Israelite. You know, you got to be made on the same accord as the Heavenly Father, you see. So going back to John 10 and 1, I and my Father are one. They're on the same accord, right? Okay, so let's go to the book of Matthew right, 17 and 5. <clears throat> it says, why he, why he, it says, why he has spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. A bright cloud is talking about a UFO, so-called UFO. He says, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, this voice is talking about the heavenly father, Yahweh. It says, this is my beloved son 
and whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. All right. So Yahweh Shah was given the authority to lead the people back to the Heavenly Father. So hear ye him. You see that? And as I said before, he comes in a volume of the book. It is written of him. So you have to search the scriptures in order to get the true understanding of the Heavenly Father. Acts 3 and uh, 22 pretty much reflects what was um, written back in Deuteronomy 18 chapter. All right. And this is what Moses said. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your power raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. All right? 23. And it shall come to pass that every soul which should not hear that prophet, which is talking about Yahweh Shah, shall be destroyed from among the people. All right? And even going back into Deuteronomy uh, 18 chapter. All right? Verse 18. Alright, Deuteronomy 18 and 18. It says, I will raise him up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth. That's why the Lord said, Hear ye him. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto the words, unto my words, where he shall speak in my name. Alright, Yahweh, my Yahweh Shah, I will require it of him. Meaning that if you did not hear his son, then you're going to be destroyed. Okay. The Lord's going to require your blood as a sacrifice. So you don't want to go that route. You want to obey the son as, you, as it's written in the book of uh, Psalms, the second chapter. All right. Verse 10 says, Be wise now, therefore, ye kings, and be instructed, ye judges of the earth. This is talking about the elect. The elect men. It says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. <clears throat> Kiss the son was Yahweh Shah, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all that put their trust in him. Alright? And that's also written in the book of uh you know Proverbs 8 chapter. Alright, Proverbs 8 and 35, whoso findeth me was Yahweh Shah in his truth, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that hate me love death. Alright? And again, this goes into the doctrine that was laid out from the Heavenly Father through His Son. So, Lord Yahweh said, My doctrine is not mine. All right. John 17 and 16 says, Yahweh answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but He has sent me. As the Lord said, I was going to put my word into His mouth. And if you don't hear Him, then you're not hearing me. If you disobey Yahweh Shah, that means that you disobey the Heavenly Father. Alright, because he's speaking the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay. And so from there, let's go to uh go to the book of Genesis. Alright. Psalm 40 and 7, right? I'm coming to volume of the book, it is written to me. So way back in Genesis the 49th chapter. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from beneath or between his feet. Until Shiloh come, which is peace. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Right? It was by him and his words that the gathering of the people is going to be. And it's by the way of the doctrine that was presented. Okay? It's a certain doctrine that you have to obey in order for you to be justified. All right? So from now, let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians. The first chapter in the 10th verse. And this is Paul. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, be on the same accord, right? Can two walk together and say they be agreed. He goes and say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. All right. And how can you be joined together in the same mind and same judgment if you're watching different Israel have different doctrines? Okay. It just it's not going to work like that. The, the Lord is not the author of confusion. So you have to come under the same banner as the Heavenly Father through a Son and be one <laughs> with the same Spirit. All right? So from there, let's go to the book of Ephesians, fourth chapter. And the uh, 13th verse it says, Till we all come in the unity of the faith 
and of the knowledge of the Son, Yahweh, of the Most High, unto a perfect man. This is how you become perfect in the spirit. All right, it's the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit of nothing. So you cannot keep the laws in its entirety. So your spirit has to be made correct when our Lord Yahweh returns. All right, this is how you're going to be justified by obeying a certain teaching, a certain doctrine that was laid out. Again, it says, Till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Hamashiach. Right? Going on. Verse 14, that we henceforth be no more children and tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. When you're reborn, okay, you tend to listen to different doctrines here and there. All right? And uh, the Lord requires you to put that off and to obey one doctrine because all those other doctrines that are outside of the truth leads to confusion and the Lord is not the other confusion so it says again that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to the seed but speaking of truth and love uh, they grow up in him and all things which is the head even Hamashiach right so he is the head and so the members that are attached to Yahweh had to come under that same banner, all right? Verse 16, from the whole body, fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supply according to the affection, effectual working, the measure of every part, make an increase of the body into the edifying of itself in love, all right? That's why you ought to obey one doctrine and build and edify with that one doctrine, which um, come, comes with understanding. Right? You're not going to get any kind of understanding listening to other Israelite camps and uh, being tossed to and fro with different doctrines. See? So let's go to uh, the fourth verse. It says, There is one body, Ephesians 4 and 4, there is one body and one spirit, even as you are called, and one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Everything goes back to one, being on one accord. So there's one Lord, which is Yahweh Shai. There's one faith and one baptism. One power and one Father of all, who is above all and through all, and in you all. All right, and this is talking about the body. He's in the body. So once you're grafted in by the gospel, then you are presented as part of the body, and therefore you are holy. Okay, and you belong to the Most High through a son. Okay, so from there. Let's go to the book of 2 John, first chapter. 2 John 1 and 9 says, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Hamashiach, so this is how you sin against the Heavenly Father during this time, which is what? Not abiding in the doctrine that he laid out. This is how you present it perfect, okay, in the spirit. So if, you're, if you transgress against the Heavenly Father by not believing in this gospel, then you don't have the most side. It goes and say, he that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he had both the Father and the Son. All right? Okay, as the scriptures say, uh, you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's why Lord Yahweh Shah said. All right? Verse 10 If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. All right? So if you receive someone who is telling you that the mark of the beast is not to offer for the microchip, all right? Or well, Esau can be saved. You know, these damnable her heresies, you know, such as such, when you can be saved by the law, then don't receive them into your house because they're teaching a false doctrine. It's not the doctrine of salvation that you are to believe in, all right? So the Lord said, don't bid him God's speed. For if you do, verse 11, for he that bid of him God's speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. And this is how you sin against the heavenly father, which is transgressing the doctrine that was laid out, all right? So from now, let's go to... Second Thessalonians. All right, one and seven. It says, "Unto you who are troubled, a hey, rest with us." All right, when the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shahamashia, who shall be punished <laughs> with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. From the glory of his power, you see that. So, hey, the only way that you can be saved from from the damnation is abiding in the gospel, and this is how the gathering 
of the uh, the elect is gonna be, right? The scripture said in Baruch four, man, they're gonna be gathered by the word of the Holy One. See, and so let's see, let me grab something else real quick. Ephesians one and eleven. Matter of fact, verse thirteen says, "Whom in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth." The gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believe, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of His glory. All right. So there you go. If you believe in this gospel, then you're gonna be sealed until the day of the coming of our Lord. All right. And this is how you believe in the Heavenly Father through His Son, which is by abiding in the doctrine. That he presented, which puts you on one accord with the heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh through a son, Yahweh shot. All right, so with that, a hey, Lord willing, you will edify. Till next time, I say, Shalom.